Hundreds of curious people flood Gisienga's home to pay their last respect, but most of them wanted to witness the unique Wanga burial ceremony. He was 80 years old, the chairman of the Wanga Council of Elders and the representative of the same in Ikolomani. He was one of the advisors of the Nabongo Mumia and he married three wives. When a man of such social status dies, his burial is not business as usual. The coffin is a small closet fitted with a seat inside. Mtu huyo kukunja mikono, kukunja miguu, mpaka kukalishwa na kuwekewa nini? Kuwekewa kofia inaitwa ingusu. The coffin has an opening at the top. The head of the light is fitted with a small cap and a porch. He sits facing the direction of his house. This is to signify that he was the head and he still is the head of the home and watches over his family. And in case you're wondering how they managed to put the corpse in a folded position, brace yourself. An appointed person speaks to the dead and persuades him to sit upright. Well, at least that's what they believe. Kwa sababu wakisika na mna hii, hiyo mtu anaruti anaanza kuambia kwa nini mlisishika bila kimila. This is a deep-rooted culture that even the church conducting the service could not interfere. After 40 days, a final ritual will be performed and only then will this community be satisfied that they have accorded Mze Gisianga a proper burial befitting his status. Thank you guys for watching and kindly subscribe, like and share my video and turn on the notification bell for more African cultural video. Thank you.